guys and welcome again to the channel on today's video is a quick review of this new plugin by safari pedals this is flamingo verb which is a very unique reverb the guys at safari pedal actually got in touch with me and asked me to review this plugin but one thing that got my attention is the fact that the time actually moves from one ir to the other which is the loaded impulse responses in this plugin so let's hop on the daw so we can actually check this out because that's quite a unique you know feature to a reverb plugin Let's get in the DAW. So here we are in the DAW and this is the plugin I'm talking about. As you can see, the GUI is actually very unique. And this is the time that moves from one IR, which is impulse response to another. So you get a room, a hall, a spring, and a very large plate. You've also got width, which changes the original or width to something very wide. You've got your drive, pre-delay, high pass and low pass. You've also got option to actually oversample this up to times four. So let's have a listen to this vocal and afterwards I'll try it on a drum kit. So as you can see when I originally turned this on because we have it directly on the source was sounding way too drenched and reverb but I've turned the blend down because you can also blend you know the dry and wet signal you've also got your output here you can obviously run this on an aux then you can have it at full hundred percent but because I have it directly on the sound so I've pulled it down to about you know 20 or 22 oh, percent it was a lie so let's also move this time which is what changes that ir so if we go downwards you see that this will go into a room kind of sound and then if we keep moving towards you know around this side you notice that spring sound the rest i can do with that so as you can see this now is a spring reverb sound you know let's move towards the end then you will hear this large you know plate it's I'm looking through you while you're looking through your phone and they're leaving with somebody else. You can see also how unique this width is. It actually pushes this right to the, you know, ends of the speakers. Which is really good, especially for vocals. So you don't want the reverb to actually, you know, muddy up your vocal in the middle. So this helps push it to the sides. So you can still perceive the reverb and also hear your vocal clearly. No, I don't your body, but I'm picturing your body with somebody yet. I don't your body, I don't want your body, I don't want your body. These are the high pass and low pass filter, and this is the pre delay. Let's make use of it. I don't want your body. No, I don't your body, but I'm picturing your body with somebody yet. I don't your body, I don't want your body, I don't want your body, I don't want your body. So another cool thing obviously is the fact that you can actually turn all this off individually. You know, all these red buttons turns them off. And according to the website, obviously, turning all this off and leaving the pre-delay now turns this to a delay, which is also a cool stuff. So let's actually try this on a drum kit as well. Let's have a listen to it without, then I'll turn it on. I 
I've already set this up, you know, somehow, as you can see, time of the reverb is in the middle. You've got a bit of drive, a bit of weight, low pass, high pass, and pre-delay, which actually, you know, makes it sound more of an expensive, you know, sound compared to how it was when it was dry. And another cool thing is because this being obviously all the drum case, we can actually just utilize the pre-delay only, maybe turn all this off or leave this on, just turn the time off. Now have a listen to it without the time. You could see we're only now utilizing the pre-delay with turn off the reverb itself and a bit of wheat as well. Let's actually, you know, play with this drive more now that I've turned the reverb off. So let's turn all this off and leave just the pre-delay. You can see how unique this is. So I urge you to go and check it out. And also I'll be leaving a link to it on the you know video description. If you have any question on this, don't hesitate to obviously leave me a comment. Until next time, also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You know, hit that super sticker and super thanks because it does help the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.